Hi, my name is Jay Sue here at beautiful Spanish Hills Country Club and today I have a tip about chipping for you. So a lot of the amateur players that we see, fundamentally we need to work on their chipping setups and it has such a huge role in the success that you're going to see. So the shot we have on hand today is a relatively short chip shot and we're going to go through some of the setup keys that's going to help you with your chipping. The first thing I like to do is set up an alignment stick on the ground on your relative target line. And from there, we're going to build up a stance. First thing I want to see is two balls width at the heel. So the stance is relatively narrow. That's going to allow us to rotate back and forth. The next thing I like to see is the left foot pull back a couple of inches. So what that does is it effectively opens up our toe line, our knee line, and to a lesser degree, the hip line. And the last thing I like to see as a right-handed golfer is to go ahead and flare the left toe out a couple of degrees. Again, all based on the idea that the little mini pivot that we're going to need in the shot is going to be crucial for the success. So, in setting up for the ball, in setting up to the ball and in the shot, really you have choices for the ball position. You can play it off of your left ball that you're using here as a reference, or the right one, because remember, it was only two balls with. And from there, go ahead and take your weight to the left. And this is a very important concept. And I have one of these general rules that says, that if it's less than full swing, go left. So in this particular case, here's my setup, stand slightly open, left foot flared out, and then now I'm gonna take my core, shift it over to the left, and really stay on that left side. So we're going to start left, stay left, and finish left. So this is what the finished product looks like. Starting left, stance open wide, and there's your shot. Thanks for listening in, and be sure to check us out here at Spanish Hills Country Club, or you can always find me on Instagram at ddxgolf.com.